April 8th, the eclipse, CERN, Nineveh. God is punishing people because we are not acting right. And we all deserve to be punished because we're bad, bad people. Let me explain something to you. If right now you're not worried about any of this collective nonsense about how the world is shifting because God is angry, so all of these things are happening, earthquakes and tsunamis, and you're being punished, that's what you get. If you don't think that way, then I'm going to say something to you and your guides want you to know you are on the right path. You know you have a consciousness and a sweet soul that doesn't deserve to be punished. You know that. So you're not scared. Even if the world ended tomorrow, <clears throat> you would be completely fine with it. If you notice, it's always the people that are like living like in a place where they're still angry at people. They haven't forgiven. They haven't let people... You know, they haven't let things go that they went through. They still have problems with their parents and their friends and their siblings and they're jealous, envious, hateful. And I'm not saying these people are bad people and they deserve to be punished. I don't believe in the God punishment uh, theory. The source is not. According to the angels, when I've speak, spoken to them, every time they tell me your intuition is right, God is not what people have created God to be. Those are gods that people created throughout time. Original source is a consciousness that allows you to experience this life in your own way. Source, the real source, the creator of everything. If you really want to talk about the word God, the God, the source, the creator. And you're talking about gods, you know, uh, Jesus, Muhammad. These are gods that man created and made them into gods. And that's great. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you are so calm about all of this just knowing first of all when there was eclipses in the ancient times they would just shut their blinds stay in their house and let it pass they wouldn't go outside to look at it because they believed that the moon and the sun and whenever the moon was doing something that it was uh created by like the reptilians and the dark forces and and the moon it holds um energy that's kind of darker people were afraid of the moon back then because they felt like it gave a dark energy and today people revere the moon as grandmother moon and you know something that's good and because we've transcended that energy and we've um we've made it into something good so if you're scared and you're worried about everything that's going on then you have to check what are you doing with you how are you living your life that you're afraid that if you die tomorrow you're going to be punished by God. And if you keep believing that God is going to punish you and that you're going to burn in the fires of hell or others are going to burn it and you're going to face judgment, then that's exactly what will happen to you because you go where your consciousness lies. I have spoken. I speak to spirit all the time. People could think I'm crazy. I really don't care. I know my truth. And they always tell me that they're there because they think they belong there, that they're being punished. When I ask them, who's punishing you? They say, I don't know, somebody is. They can never come up with a good answer because they're the ones doing it to themselves. They're punishing themselves. They're repeatedly telling themselves what they did while they were here in the physical body was bad, so now they're paying for it in the afterlife, which is why many times I'll speak to spirit and say, hey, it's okay, forgive yourself, move forward. God isn't punishing you. You know, Ask for assistance, get out of there. You don't belong there. And many times I've felt spirit go on to the light when I've done that. So what you need to do right now is check within yourself and see, like, where am I at? Like, how am I living? And why am I so scared? Like, things are going to happen. Because conscious, subconsciously and consciously, you have lived lifetimes, many lifetimes. And in those lifetimes, you've experienced floods and and uh, hunger. If you're afraid of starvation or if you're afraid of the water, you're afraid that someone's going to steal all your money. If you get wealthy, someone's going to take it from the bank or the government's going to steal it from you. You've experienced many lifetimes. So, of course, you hold those fears. And you need to check and work on those fears i know i personally i had to work on fears of water i was always afraid if i live near the water i'm gonna die because i've seen myself live in atlantis and i've seen it come down i've seen myself live in new york multiple lifetimes ago and i've seen things happen and so i still carried those fears until the, today i had to work on those fears and spirit showed me myself in dreams going through you know the great floods or you know just a flood itself right um, so I had to work through those fears and financial fears and worries and all of that. It's not that you don't want to be wealthy or you can't get wealthy. You might hold the fear from a past lifetime that's keeping you blocked from your wealth. And I know that I've had to work with that myself. And I've, you know, finally 
understood. We carry fears from past lives. So all these people that are terrified about April 8th and, and they're all scared. They keep saying the world's going to end. And this is like God's punishing us. These are people that still have not cleared their consciousness and I have not moved on to the higher vibrational nodes. Okay. So you're, you're dealing with people that are still technically in a matrix. They're not bad people. We're not saying, oh, they're bad. We're good because we're smart. And we're, it's just that we're working on ourselves and we're working on ascending and we know our mission and our purpose here and what we're here to do. And that is to keep and hold the light. So you have to hold and keep the light no matter what you see around you, no matter what's going on, keep and hold the light. No matter what, it could be a straight up chaos outside. If you run around like them, you're involved in the chaos, you're losing the light. You're losing the light, so we need you light workers and you empaths and you star seeds to remember what you came here for. Stop running from your gifts. I know we all do it. I've done it. I still kind of do it now. We have big responsibilities and we, we, we might be afraid to step into that uh, into that uh, role because it might be a lot for us to handle. But I can promise you this right now. If you're not worried and you feel confident and cool and collected, that's because you know that you're on the path of ascension and you know you've done your duty, you, you've done your thing, you're not worried about going. If you go, you go. You'll be happy either way because you know you don't die. Those of us who know we don't die, we're not afraid of so-called death. There's no such thing as death. There's only transitioning. So therefore, I'm giving you this. Forget about all the warnings and the fears and stuff. Stay home. Relax. Stay out of the chaos, out of the internet, out of the social medias. Get out of that. Get in your own headspace. Follow the light within. Listen to that voice that says everything's all right. It's going to be okay. Be out in nature. I wouldn't go to clubs or parties or me personally until the end of April because right now everybody's chaotic. The mind's going crazy with the earthquake today and whatever's going on. I know New York had an earthquake. I felt the earthquake and then the aftershock. Okay, so people are terrified. They think God's punishing us. You guys, the, it, the history repeats itself. This isn't the first time this has happened. We've gone through this over and over again. But if you feel you're in a good space consciously and soul, your soul and your spirit, why would you be afraid of what's to come next? You should be accepting of all things. And those who are fearful is because they haven't worked on the things they need to work on. And they're still, oh, if I die, I'm, I haven't, you know, like I'm still mad at my mom or I'm still... That's why it's important to forgive people and let things go. And the less you fear death, the less you fear things like that, the less it comes for you. Fear attracts what you give the energy to. So when, when you're scared of something and you keep being afraid of it, it's like you call it to you. Oh, yes, come over here. Oh, you're scared? Great. And the universe hears that and it starts going towards those fears. So let's release those fears and let's stay in the light, okay? We are the light workers. We are the mission. We are the star seeds. Let's not lose our purpose getting lost in what everybody else is doing. So hold that light. Stay calm. Remain balanced and grounded and know that you are a motherfucking G and you're going to be all right. We love you. Bye. Oh, 